guys. Figured I wanted to do a POV rig rundown. I've been playing kind of a weird setup lately, and I wanted to share with you guys what my setup is. So we'll start with the kit itself. I've been mixing and matching. These are my SJC Golden Record toms that I've had since summer of 2013 during the Golden Record album cycle. It's a 13 and a 16. I think this is 13 by 9 and 16 by 16, if I'm not mistaken. And I've been using the SJC Busker DeVille. Uh, I think it's a 12 by 20 kick, if I'm not mistaken. And I've been using a ton of different snares, but lately uh, I've been using this a &F Raw Brass that I got at salt city drums on tour in salt lake love that drum shop uh shout out to salt city love a good mom and pop drum shop so let's see uh, i've always been a dw guy in regards to hardware so all my hardware is dw i also wanted to shout out tackle instrument i have several of their stick bags this leather one is my main one with the little like wallet caddy i love this shit you know you can clip your drum keys on there and shit love 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 tackle instrument they fucking kill it i've got this canvas one too that's also sick that i use for fly dates but the leather one is my main guy so good so let's see here uh what else so i guess uh I could talk a little bit about the heads that I've been using. I just recently put a fresh set of coated emperors on the toms. I really like the vintage emperors if I can get them. I don't know why. I think they just sound better. I'm not sure if it's just something that they spray on them or what, but uh, that was kind of like a Paul Levitt thing. I just love the texture of uh, emperors uh, lately. Um, that's what I've been into. I actually use these. There's a local band I just played on their full length called Fair Shake. And uh, these are actually the same heads from that session. and just left them on the kit because I'm old and lazy. <laughs> I've always done a, e a clear EMAD on the kick. Uh, in my opinion, doesn't get any better. Just out of ease to tune a kick how I want to get that punchiness. I also really like Power Stroke 3s, but... Uh, it's kind of rare that I do those. EMAD's just always been my go-to. And uh, on the a &F snare, I have a uh, Emperor X. I'm almost always using an Emperor X or sometimes a controlled sound X, depending. That's just uh, kind of the head heads that I like, uh, or I guess that I'm using right now. Let's get into the symbols, because that's... Oh, actually, one other thing I wanted to touch on. Uh, I did take, like, a Rhythm Tech stand and mod it. I uh, actually cut this with a Sawzall so it could fit my little mixer. And just took, like, a little on-stage thing that fit my click and so forth. I learned the hard way that you gotta Velcro these things. Because, you know, people just stage hands and shit just pick this shit up and then all, all your stuff falls over and breaks and then they look at you like oh i'm not responsible for that you should have fucking taped it down and put velcro on it or whatever so pro tip if you have a little table for you know a mixer or what have you fucking velcro that shit like i said i had to learn the hard way and the only other thing i didn't mention about hardware 9000 series in regards to all my pedals i've tried Every pedal under the sun. I even opened up a credit card to get DW's direct drive system, which I use for a little while. But because I've been playing chain driven pedals for over 20 years, direct drive just wasn't for me. I had to work twice as hard. I don't know. It, it just didn't feel right. The buoyancy of the 9000 with the free floating cam. That's the boy. That'll always be my go to pedal. And same deal for the hi-hat stand. I love the sensitivity of it. I'm able to feather the hi-hats with my heel. I love that shit. So now let's get into the symbols. Like I say, I've got kind of a wild setup right now. I've been using these K Custom Special Dry Darks for a little while, and I started flipping them upside down. So I've actually got the bottom symbol on the top. I had read that you could get a tiny bit more stick articulation by playing them upside down, and uh, I've gotten really good results. I've used it on a lot of uh, dim 
recordings that we're working on right now and some other session work and i absolutely love it i was using a eight inch trash former uh, i cracked the shit out of it so i had this aax air splash laying around so that's what i'm playing around with right now my homie lauren sent me this ribbon crasher literally one of the only reasons I use a ribbon crasher is because of Abe Cunningham. I've mentioned before, I'm obsessed with him. Yeah, definitely use this on uh, some of the new dim stuff. So I'm stoked about that. And I've had this spiral stacker for a while. And uh, this New York cat, Gunnar Olsen, that I really like, instead of stacking it on top of a cymbal, actually played it like this. And I was fucking around with it yesterday. And I think it's staying. It's really cool. Uh, makes a cool, shimmery, dirty, trashy, noisy kind of sound that uh, I'm really stoked on. This 18-inch K EFX I've had in my setup for a little while. I remember my homie Tom Nicholas let me borrow this when I was writing for TDS's self-titled. He had one when it was like a prototype before it even came out. I remember when I gave it back to him, I was bummed to find out that I couldn't go and buy this symbol at the time this was 2017 so the minute i was able to buy one it was just like no question i gotta have one um one of the coolest crashes uh i've ever fucked with uh, it's just in and out has a really cool decay really cool texture i've been recording with it a lot as well man it sounds fucking sick you pair this with a 20 inch cluster crash perfect high and low pair for uh, crashes when recording so if you haven't tried that i would recommend it um, my main ride right now is a 22 inch ovidus i was using this as a crash for a while and i just love the way it sounded and just fucking around with different setups i said you know what i'd like to try it as a ride i'm getting really good results um, a lot of sensitivity and articulation and really cool wash um, it's got that vintage -y kind of vibe going on. Uh, I love this entire line. I'm probably gonna, gonna buy more Ovidus series stuff for sure. One of my favorite Zildjian lines, absolutely. And uh, I've also been using this eight inch effects stack. I actually brought this with me on the 10 year tour last fall. I was using a 10 inch as well. I love these, especially this little guy. Uh, I've, I've been all about stacks for a little while. I just can't get enough of this shit, man. I love, love the way it sounds. Really cool little layer to sneak in there. Makes a really cool white noise. And then lastly, uh, I've been using my Crash of Doom. Uh, I also used the Crash of Doom on the 10-year. I had it on my left, though. And then I was using a 22 medium thin low K-Con on my right. But uh, Dim's got kind of some really atmospheric shit going on. So I was trying the 18 EFX with the Crash of Doom. And again, uh, I'm getting a really cool high low going on and um, love this symbol. Who wouldn't want a Crash of Doom? Cause fuck yeah. And I even muted it a tiny bit on the bottom with a piece of duct tape. Uh, little goes a long way. I had it too muted at rehearsal the other day and it didn't, I wasn't getting that very unique trashy wash that I wanted. So I just put one strip on that bad boy. I don't know. That's what, six, eight inches, I guess. And uh, that seemed to kind of be the sauce. So yeah, this is my setup I've been playing for a while. I've really been enjoying kind of Frankensteining a kit. I'm really into these 20 inch kicks right now. I'm chomping at the bit to get another kit from SJC. I'll definitely be getting a 20 inch kick i'm just really getting into the vintagey kind of sound lately and just wanted to share with you guys my current rig that i've been rehearsing with them hope you guys enjoyed this pov rig rundown trying to do something a little different thank you guys as always for your support and thanks for watching peace out